Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this store, I'll be showing you guys how to build a flushing toilet. Now, you're probably thinking, FedEx, why do I need a flushing toilet at all? Well, it's not the idea of you needing it, but the idea of if you just want stuff to work in your house. Like, I've made a working shower stall. I've made a working stove. It's just for people that actually want things in their house to actually work. You know, I'm, I'm one of those people, you know, I want working fridges. I want working stoves. I want working lights. I want everything to actually work like a real house. Now, if you're not like that, then you're probably in the wrong place right now. So <laughs> all this literally is, is a block swapper hooked up to a monostable circuit, switching out a cauldron with water in it for a cauldron with no water in it, switching back to the cauldron with water in it. So it just flushes the water and brings the water back. And you can actually throw items in there too, and it will make it disappear. So let's just take out some, uh, what was I going to take out? Let's just take out some cocoa beans. There we go. So we're going to throw some cocoa beans in the toilet. <laughs> There we go, and then we're gonna flush the toilet. And there we go, no more cocoa beans. <laughs> see, as you can see, it's just, it's just swapping the, the cauldron. And if you want, you can get rid of the trap door. That is very much optional. It just swaps it like that, and it's a flushing toilet. So let's just start building this thing right away. Like I said, it's stupid, but it's for people that just want things to always work in their houses. So for this build, we're going to need a five by five, and we're also going to, have to dig down at least three, and we're going to, have to dig down four for one more spot. Now let's get out the items we're going to need. So we're going to need two sticky pistons, two regular pistons, seven repeaters, eight redstone dust, three redstone torches, two cauldrons, one water bucket for one of the cauldrons, a button, some blocks of choice. Oh, and you know what? I didn't get any blocks to put our redstone down on, so I'm going to be using lime wool for that. We're also going to need a... Now, I have a block of iron in here. This is for people that are still using the default pack. I made this thing a long time ago. Not the flushing idea, but I made the toilet idea a long time ago. And if you're on default pack, I think iron block looks the best. I mean, it might be... It's, a, it's costly because you need a lot of iron for it, but it looks the best. Trust me. So I'm going to be using quartz instead of iron. And we're also going to need one quartz stairs, seven slabs. Now, if you want to slab your whole bathroom, go right ahead. It doesn't really matter. But I like kind of like that checker pattern. You don't even have to use this pattern. But if you want to do that nice little checker pattern, what you're going to need is some carpet, uh, white and black carpet. Gray wool if you want to do the same background as mine there. And we're also going to need a trap door. Very much optional for the, you know, toilet lid or whatever whatever it's called <laughs> so once you got your five by five and you dug down your three just count up three blocks one two three and then we're gonna take out our blocks choice we're gonna go up two blocks delete the block underneath it then go across three one two three up two blocks and then delete that one next what we're gonna do is put a redstone torch right in the middle of it and we're gonna put repeaters coming out of the torch set to one tick delay as you can see they're both on one and then we're gonna put some torches behind oh no actually in front of it like this the torches will go off put some dust on top of these like that and this will create our block swapper so now actually we're going to delete this one redstone dust on this side first and we're going to put a regular piston right above the off torch like that as you can see it's not extending because i took that off and i put one over here it will extend out now the reason why i did this is because we have to put our cauldrons in so we're going to put a cauldron here the cauldron on the bottom never has the water in it it's always the one on top that has the water so once you got that one in next we're going to put a sticky piston facing up next to this middle torch so put it right next to it like that it should extend up and this is where we're going to put our cauldron with the water in it. So we don't need our cauldrons anymore. Put our water in this cauldron. Get rid of our water bucket. We don't need that anymore. So there we go. That's that's the block swapper right there. So if I put a button right here next to this torch and I click it, as you can see, it swaps the block. And I pr click it again. And oh, I forgot to put the dust back. There we go. <laughs> if I click it again, it swaps it back. So that's our block swapper. So let's delete that button there. So wherever we just had that button there to make sure the block swapper works and all that good stuff, we're going to put a repeater here set to four ticks delay. And to the left of it, we're going to put another repeater set to four ticks delay. Now behind the one with the, you know, the little missing hole right here, we're going to put a sticky piston facing up with a block on top of it. That is our mono stable circuit. And we're going to put dust right next to it right here. Next, we're going to come on this side where this four tick is going into this block right here. And we're going to put another repeater right here set the four ticks as you can see it's four ticks four ticks then we're going to put a block in front of it dust next to the block and another repeater going into this middle block right here set the four ticks delay as well so now if i go over here where our mono stable circuit is and i put a one tick delay repeater right here with a block behind it and click the button it will swap it but then swap it back ready swaps it but then swaps it back and that's the whole function right there there's your flushing toilet swaps it and swaps back so now all we have to do is build our toilet so all we have to do literally is just put a staircase right behind it so put your quartz staircase right behind it like that 
And then if you're using a quartz block, if you're using plastic, use quartz. If you're using default or I don't know what texture packs you guys are using, but if you're using default, I definitely recommend iron block. I think that looks the best, but I'm going to be using quartz. So I'm going to put a quartz right on there. So that's our tank for our water. I'm going to put our button right here. So now pretty much what I'm going to do is going to make the whole layout and then we'll connect the button down to here. So what I like to do is just take out some half slabs. Now, the reason why I use half slabs and not carpet here is because when this piston moves, the carpet gets destroyed. So you have to use half slabs. So just put half slabs all the way around it like this, except for the back, of course, because this is where our wall is going to be. And then we can actually take out our wall block because we do not need our half slabs anymore. So whatever color you want, you don't have to use dark gray wool. I just think it looks nice. We're just going to make like a little uh, square around it like that. Make sure you keep one area open because remember, we have to click the button and make it work right here. So dust is going to be going there. So it looks something like that. Now we can put our carpet around. So what I like to do is if you're going to use carpet, just use any block. You know, you can use dirt if you really want to. But remember, uh, when you're using carpet, the block underneath it makes the sound. So if you have wood and then carpet on top of the wood, it's going to make the wood sound instead of the carpet. It Carpet doesn't have a sound to it. When you step on carpet, it does not have a sound to it. So let's take out our carpets. That's why I like using wool. So it still sounds like you're kind of walking on a carpet. <laughs> and we're just going to go white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black, and white like that. And we can actually put one more row in actually for here. So it just looks nicer. I don't know why, but we're just going to do it anyway. There we go. So now literally all we have to do is hook up to where this button is, where we left this nice little hole down to here. Very, very easy to do. So all you're going to have to do is put redstone dust here then put a block coming down one. And then another block coming down right over this one tick delay repeater and literally just put the dust right up like that. There you go. And you're done. So now if we come over here and click the button, the toilet flushes and the toilet refills. So uh, let's put our trap door back. Boop. There we go. <laughs> I just don't like the trap door because it opens up. That's why I get rid of it usually. But there you guys go. Yeah, there you guys go. <laughs> there you guys go. That's how you build a flushing toilet. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. <laughs> Peace. Also, I'll have in the description below a link to the sh working shower stall and I'll have a link to the, you know, yeah, just, I'll just have a link to the working shower stall. I'm just going to keep the bathroom stuff together and maybe one day I'll do a sink or something. Who knows? <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.